is my baby. This is my newest project and I absolutely love her to the point where I am going to be creating another one. I am thinking about cutting it into layers. I'm not sure. It is a lot of hair. I probably could have gotten away with only using 18 packs. The only thing I have on this wig holding it up is I have a bobby pin here, a bobby pin here, a bobby pin here, and a bobby pin here. I attach the wig to the very end of the braid and I braided it just at the very end. I added four additional braids to my scalp to make the wig look even more realistic. I have worn this wig approximately 10 times already. Um, a lot of you guys were concerned about whether or not the braids would, you know, randomly just slip out. How durable is the wig? Are the braids securely in place? I would not dare put this wig on if I felt like the, the braids would randomly slip out. <laughs> I plan on keeping this wig for at least five years. You guys can definitely make this wig yourself. It may appear as if it's a lot of work, but I have been working on this wig forever. You can work on a row, one row every week if you want. Work on one row every day. All you really need is time. Work on the, the cap with the wig on your head. I made this entire wig like pretty much in my lap or as you saw on top of a grits container. <laughs> I have to buy me a mannequin head because I anticipate making a lot of wigs in the future. So I hope I have provided enough information for you guys so that if you choose to you know make this wig yourself you have all of the necessary information. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to go back to part one, part two, this is part three. You can always rewind or if you feel as though you missed something. I try to make my videos as straight forward and straight to the point and as easy as possible. I mentioned a long time ago I hate drawn out videos. So please share with me how your wigs turned out and that would make me smile for the day. So. Alright, until next time.